Hey, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I've got a grocery haul for you. I went to Kroger. Um, <laughs> this may sound funny, but I did a Kroger pickup order, but I also went inside. Um, our Kroger is one of like the huge ginormous ones. And um, I just, today I didn't feel like walking <laughs> over the store. So I did um, a pickup order for, you know, pretty much everything but fresh produce. I wanted to pick out my fresh produce. So. Um, I, between the two orders, I spent $171.21, but I did get several non-food items that were on sale this week. So I'll show you what I got from Kroger, and then I'll show you the meal plan for the upcoming week. And I apologize if you see the SpongeBob stuff. Um, my husband's birthday was yesterday, which is a lot of the reason why I didn't feel like walking all over the store today. And he requested that I leave the signs and stuff up for a couple days. So, <laughs> all right. So let me, um, like I said, let me show you what we got from Kroger and then the meal plan. All right, let's start out with the non-food items. First, I got some of the all free and clear detergent, all out of the OxyClean White Revive. Love these for our whites. Grab my husband some of this Irish Spring Original Scent Body Wash. And then I'm out, I can't talk today, I'm out of the Lysol uh, laundry sanitizer and it was on sale, so I grabbed that. I had requested two bags of the Kroger bacon pieces. They were, uh, they only had one, I guess, and so they subbed one of the Oscar Mayer, which of course is fine. Got some strawberries, lots of berries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And this was also a substitution. I ordered the petite golden potatoes. They subbed the red, which of course is fine. Gary requested some sprouts for sandwiches and salads, so I grabbed that for him. Red onion, got some broccolini. I don't think I've ever cooked this before, but I wanna give it a try. Lemon, we've got some fresh broccoli, several limes, a couple oranges. These were on sale this week. I, th I wanna say like $1.99, which is a really good deal. So I grabbed the medley. Got some sliced pears and peaches for Happy's Food. The Kettle Brand um, potato chips were, I'm gonna say $1.99 this week. So I got the sea salt, and then I also requested the, I think it's like the Backyard Barbecue or something, they were out of stock. I got the Simply Lemonade Strawberry for a recipe for a video. Almost out of onion powder and paprika, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Got some Mild Taco Bell Taco Sauce. Grabbed some Texas Toast Croutons. Got some of the avocado mayo. And then I've really been wanting my um, lemon bundt cake. I've shared it before on my channel. I'll link the video down below if I think about it. But it's super easy recipe and it is delicious, perfect for spring. And it calls for a box of lemon pudding mix. So I went ahead and grabbed that so I can make it. Avocados, cilantro, apples. I mentioned the broccoli. And then normally, I get a ham steak and um, cube it myself because it's cheaper, but this Smithfield ham was on sale for $2 and something, maybe $2.99 this week. And that's like half the price of a ham steak now. So I just went ahead and grabbed that for salads and omelets. Grabbed some Canadian bacon, fresh mozzarella cheese, a block of sharp cheddar cheese. We had this last week and really liked it. It's the Asian style chopped salad kit. Grab some Italian style lettuce. It's got romaine and radicchio. And then got a fresh rosemary plant, which I've been wanting to get, but I haven't seen one. Um, they've been out of stock on them. And then cilantro. I've been wanting to plant cilantro. And on, I think it was like two weeks ago on my grocery haul, I got a couple of their plants like um, Kroger and most stores right now have you know, different vegetable plants and stuff like out front. And so I grabbed two of the cilantros, but they were really little and they were like $3.99 and they've already died on me. So normally, um, like I said, the rosemary and cilantro is out of stock at my store. So when I saw this today, I snatched it up. So I'll get that planted. Grab some Jimmy Dean Delight croissant sandwiches. And then <laughs> I know I'm in my mid to late thirties. We're not going to give the exact number, <laughs> but I've never had these before. And I don't know. I just, I, every once in a while, I will want like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I just thought I'd give these a try. No, I'm sure they're fine. I don't know how you could go wrong with peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but <laughs> grab those. And then a couple months ago, uh, Gary and I were actually in, I just realized my nail was chipped. Sorry about that. 
Anyway, um, we were in Croker and they were giving samples of this boar's head spinach uh, Greek yogurt dip. It was so good, but I have not seen it back in stock since then. So I saw it today, grabbed that. It was really yummy. Grabbed some slider buns. Gary really likes these Bolt House Farms um, little smoothies, but they're kind of pricey. So I just pick up a couple every now and then. Got some more milk, some hard cooked peeled eggs. Yes, I'm aware I can cook them and peel them myself, but wanted them for lunch today and won't have time to do it before lunch. And then this was an impulse buy. This, as you can see, is usually $8.99. It was reduced to $4. So what I'll do is I'll shred this and then put it in the freezer and I can use it for chicken salad or quesadillas or, you know, whatever. Use for a casserole. I got some of these non dippers to go with the spinach dip and then a loaf of bread. All right, that's everything from Kroger. Let me show you the meal plan. All right, here is the meal plan for the upcoming week. Uh, one, I apologize if you can hear a lawnmower in the background, our next door neighbors mowing his lawn. And then two, if you have watched the last couple weeks of my um, grocery hauls, you'll notice that the first several items are carryovers. Um, just to be honest, I've been kind of struggling with my anxiety lately. And so I've been going off meal plan um, quite a bit, just pulling stuff from the fridge or freezer. Um, so that's why you're seeing some carryover stuff, but I'm feeling better. So hopefully I can get this stuff knocked out. Um, and if you're new to my channel, although I do list these in day order, I don't necessarily stick to it. I'll move things around or like I said, if you know, there's something I'm just not feeling like cooking that day or we're not in the mood for, I'll pull stuff from my freezers or pantry. All right. So first up, I am making the Filipino barbecue chicken. I've mentioned never tried that before. We're going to do that with some garlic fried rice and adobo mushrooms. Tuesday night, I'm doing the sweet and spicy salmon with sweet potatoes and green beans. Wednesday night, I have um, one of the like Aldi marinade mixes in the mesquite flavor. It's been in my pantry for forever. I've got to get it used up. So I'm going to marinate some chicken and get that grilled up and then try a new recipe for a chipotle potato salad. And then we're going to do some fresh corn on the cob with that. Thursday night, I'm trying a new recipe for shrimp tacos with a like street corn salad. And then to go along with that, Gary sent me a recipe. I don't even know where he saw it, um, but it's for like a citrus chunky avocado dip. And he asked me to make it. And I think that's like the second time in our entire marriage he's ever sent me a recipe and asked me to make this. So I wanna, you know, make that for him and give it a try. It sounds delicious. Friday, we're gonna make some Big Mac sliders. And then I'm gonna try a recipe for broccoli salad. I have a broccoli salad recipe that I love. Um, but I saw, I can't think of her Instagram name. I think it's like Brits cooking or something like that. I'll link it below, but she shared a broccoli salad recipe the other day and, um, her little spin on it was she added balsamic vinegar to the like mayonnaise mixture. That sounds really good. So we're going to give that a try. See what we think. Saturday, I'm going to make, um, taco marinated chicken and then do like a taco pasta salad. And then, yes, we normally eat a lot of chicken um, in our house. It's just what we prefer. And so Sunday, we're going to make bruschetta chicken with some baby potatoes and then that broccolini that I got. All right, that is the meal plan. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and got some dinner or grocery ideas from it. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel um, if you're not already. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.